All right, guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack. And as some of you may have guessed today, I'm going to demonstrate how my trailer works because it's Friday. I got off work a little early, and we're going to do some logging this afternoon. We got, I think I got three to five logs to pick up. I'm going to have to make some contact calls, but we should be able to come back with a load of logs. So stick around for a while. guys we stopped and got the truck gassed up and uh, man that just that just hurts I mean it, it seriously hurts I can remember when fuel prices were much better and it really hadn't been that long ago but we won't get on that but <clears throat> me and my trusty Ford and my log trailer are headed to get these logs and I've got a total of four logs today that I've got to pick up uh, one of them I've been told is a 20 inch cedar I suspect it's probably not quite a 20 inch cedar. cedar. I'm expecting more of a 16. And y'all can uh, agree with me, and, and I don't know if y'all have this problem or not, but folks tend to call logs a lot bigger than they really are. So I expect maybe this will be a good 16 inch and uh, get some good wood out of it. But when I go to get logs, I typically try to line up to where I can get four or five at a time. So I've got that cedar log. I've got a lead on two more cedars that I'm hoping to be able to pick up today. I've got a pecan and I've got a magnolia and a maybe on one more cedar log. So I'm hoping to be able to get a full load before we start back to try to, you know, get a little bit more wood to the gallon, so to speak. So I'm going to try to take y'all along with me and record as much as I can. Uh, when I get to these people's houses, I'm not necessarily going to be out there talking into the camera. I may video it. Uh, and depending on if they show up with me, you know, I may have to cut the audio out or whatnot because I don't want to broadcast other folks without their uh, without their permission. So stick around and uh, hope y'all enjoy the ride. All right, guys, I've almost made it to my first stop, which is about going to uh, way of the roadway is going to be the furthest one to the house, and I try to do that so that I'm not as heavy on the way home the last log i pick up is going to be the one closest to my house that way i'm not toting all this heavy wood all over the county uh, but i'm just going to touch on a couple of facts right quick i know a lot of guys i see them asking you know where do you get your wood or how much do you pay uh, how much you pay a board foot and all that kind of stuff well fortunately where i live it's a rural community and everybody knows everybody and uh, you got a lot of folks that you know, they just they just looking to get rid of this stuff and, and, and not have to burn it or pay anybody to come haul it off. And so, so far in about a year of having my meal, I haven't had to buy any logs whatsoever. So that's a that's a plus for me, and it helps uh, it helps these other folks out because like this one I'm going to get now. This is an older gentleman, and uh, not that he can't get rid of this log, but he just doesn't want to waste it. And really doesn't want to have to fool with it so he calls and i come and i get the log and 
to take care of it for. It's a win for everybody. So.
right guys that went pretty well we uh managed to get that one on the truck and as i stated before it was not a 20 inch cedar tree it was closer probably to being a 14 inch cedar tree but i don't know why that is but when guys are telling you you know hey i got this log it's 20 inches or you know 22 inches or whatever that's generally not the case this is like somewhere along the way they uh they, they, they can't judge how big a log is but I'm gonna say that was probably 14, 12 to 14. Uh, the, the thing had a lot of taper. So I drove the whole log up on there, knocked the top out of it and just threw it on the trailer so I can take it home. I didn't wanna leave it in the guy's yard littering it up. I might can make something out of it. Nothing else, I might can cut some cookies out of it or something. So anyway, got that one loaded. I'm gonna go uh, make a couple phone calls to see if we can't grab a few extra ones on the way home. Alright guys, made the second stop. It was a bit of a letdown, so I didn't bother videoing it. Uh, I wouldn't have gotten the thing except for the fact that one, it's on our way back home, and two, uh, I do have a guy that called me the other day looking for a small cedar, uh, small enough that he could use it as a handrail. Like maybe split it in half and use it as a handrail, but he wants to leave the, the natural look on the outside, make it look like a tree. So. So I may actually be able to use it, but uh, it was very small, maybe six inches, eight at the most. Uh, actually, didn't even have to break out the arch on that one. I just kind of picked up one end of it, threw it in the trailer, and then picked up the other end and slid it on in. So it had uh, been laying there for a while. It was dry, and so it didn't take a whole lot to get it loaded. Uh, I think I'm going to quit chasing my tail today and head back toward the house. I've got a pecan log that I know can pick up that I know the size of it I'm gonna grab that and then I've got a magnolia also that uh, I had a guy he's got a position for me ready to be picked up so uh, I'm gonna go get those and then we're gonna head back toward the house and call it a day well I spoke a little too soon guys uh, I got a call back from one of the numbers that I had on my my log sheet over here on my list I got a call back and so I've got a couple more cedars that uh, she said for me to come on and get so we're gonna slip on over here it's probably five miles from where we are now and uh, we'll slip on over there pick those guys up and uh, see what kind of logs these are maybe maybe they'll get bigger you know right now we're kind of good news is my truck's not in a struggle because we're not entirely loaded but the bad news is I hadn't got a whole lot of wood for my trip so far so we're, let's hope all that changes but worst case We'll get the pecan and the magnolia. It'll make it worth the trip. So we're going to head to this next address, see what we got. Hey right, guys, I hope y'all got enough video of the uh, trailer loading the logs because apparently I had a little issue with my camera while I wasn't paying attention, but uh, we got her loaded. So we finna head back to the house. I'm gonna have to call off my other two stops. All right guys, we're back in the truck, fixing to head back to the house with the logs. Uh, the second stop turned out to be a lot more wood than what I was anticipating. Uh, the first log that we picked up, of course, it was a little depressing uh, com compared to what I was told. What I was told it was going to be a 20 inch cedar. It turned out to be a maybe a 12. The second stop, I was actually told it was going to be two or three small trees. And when I got there, it was the remnants of maybe a 30 inch cedar uh, multi liter tree. So there's not really any big logs. The, the very base was hollow, so I didn't get that. But uh, it turned out to be a pretty good load of cedar that I can use for some of my smaller projects and especially to cut thin wood for my laser engraver. So I got that loaded, but I maxed out. I'm not gonna be able to stop and get any more. And we're headed to the house with this. And when we get to the meal, I'll show you what we picked up today. All right, guys, we got it back to the house. And as you can see, wound up with a, a decent load of uh, cedar logs here. Like I said, some of them were cut a little shorter than I like them. But all in all, uh, 
it was a pretty good trip. Some of the some of the cedar had been sitting for a while, and as you can see, it's it's kind of a little rough on the outside, but that's not going to go very deep. Uh, once I once I skin this thing out and, and and cut it up, it'll be some decent cedar. Uh, some of the other stuff that they had was pretty grayed and weathered, but I'm willing to bet that down below all that graying is going to be some pretty cedar wood in there. So I managed to get her loaded completely and I've got it back up to the mill. So tomorrow I'll be getting my tractor out, unloading this, and it will join its uh, fellow logs over here in the cedar pile. But I hope the video was helpful for you. Uh, if you hadn't got a trailer built or if you're thinking about building one, maybe it'll give you some ideas on, on how it works and how to use it. Like I said, this one's built mostly from scrap material other than the winch and a you know a little bit of my tube in there that i had to buy but i hope you liked the video learned something entertained amused whatever the case may be uh please hit the subscribe button down below and as i release more videos it'll it'll let you know and uh, you can check them out and you can either give me your feedback let me know what you like about it or didn't like about it or or whatnot but thank you for coming and i hope you have a good day